Hello, 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 buddy. Today we are playing Der Isendrock in Black Ops 3. I'm going to be pack-a-punching every single gun on the map. That's right, I'm going to be showcasing it and then pack-a-punching it. Talking about what it's like, all that fun stuff. If you think it's a cool video, if you end up enjoying the video, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I love reading each and every single comment, but with that said, I'm actually going to be cutting out a lot of the downtime in this video because going through each gun is going to take a while, and I want to make sure we get all the juicy bits in a nice tight video format. Maybe weird word choice there. But basically, I will see you guys here in a minute. I figured I'd take this moment to go ahead and show off the MR6 since that's going to be our first gun. Not really the best for damage, but it is pretty nice for being able to get points. It'd be better if I could get over here and while I have this double points all war off, be able to line them all up. Uh, but I mean, you know, it, it's a great starting pistol. Not nearly as good as the original M1911, but I would say definitely better than the uh, Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles version of it. I'm not a big, big fan of that. Uh, plus, they mess up the sound, rend audio, rendering, whatever you want to call it on it. Uh, but yeah, it, well, there's something more to say about it. I will see you guys once I get it pack-a-bunched. Alrighty, death and taxes. You know, I mean, look, it's the Mustang and Sally, right? Like, we can all agree <laughs> that the uh, the gun's just supposed to be a copy of it. And of course, Black Ops 3 can't just buy PhD. They said no, explosive weapons are too overpowered, not happening, no shot. That's why we have, like, the, uh, I think they wanted Banana Colada, the community, instead of, because we couldn't have PhD. And then we ended up getting the gobble gun. It was a neat little thing, but let's see. We are on round five, so, obvi oh, wow. so obviously it's going to be a bit better than it would be at later rounds. In my experience, I feel like it's not like the best version of an explosive weapon in the world, but it's definitely not bad. I mean, especially with an insticker right here. Boom, we do a trick shot with it. It just explodes, right? And that's fine. That's good. It has good ammo. Not the best for points, but it'll get the job done. I mean, I'd imagine it could probably easily take you to around 30. I'd imagine in the mid 30s, it starts falling off a bit. You're going to be looking for max ammos out of your gobble gums, everything like that. But with that said, hey, on to the next gun. And just like that, the next gun, the RK5, I mean, <laughs> it's another gun where it's like, what does there to say about it? I use this thing like every chance I get. It is my preferred starting weapon. Uh, my aim's not the best, of course, but I really like it over the uh, the Shiva in this game. The reason is on round three and four, you can shoot the bodies in the body with a full burst uh, and then knife. Meanwhile, with the Shiva, you could only shoot twice on round three and then melee for maximum points. It doesn't have a ton of damage and it kind of falls off. Like even on this round, like I'll be able to use it to kill the dogs if I can find one. Oh, my mouse, my mouse sensitivity went crazy there. Like it, it'll do fine, but like I guarantee you if I only use this gun on round seven, I would run out of ammo halfway through the round. I honestly don't remember what this one's like pack a punch. So I'm a bit excited to see it, uh, so yeah. All right, I got a shopping free, so we'll be able to pack a punch this sucker immediately. See how it does. I'm I think the name. Now I'm thinking about the the B23R name, which becomes the bear, the B34. Uh, but let's see, the Rex caliber. Right, I forgot about that. Uh, ooh, I like the sound of it. That's um, that's a, that's a nice sound. That's something you got to think about if you're using a gun. You got to hear it going pew pew unless you got the game volume turned off. But I actually kind of like that sound. Maybe it's a little loud, but who knows? It could just be my game settings. It seems like it has pretty decent damage. Again, we're going to have a hard time telling damage because this video is going to be going through up several rounds. I'd imagine we'll win somewhere in the 20s to 30s. I do have some, like, point gobble gums to be able to help me get through it as quickly as possible. Uh, but, I mean, it feels it feels good. It feels like it'd be a good early pack a bunch if you don't want to hit the box. Although, I feel like it might be better just, you know, buy the ICR for 13, 1400, however much it is, and then pack a bunch of that. What, you lose 800 and you get one of the best guns in the game? pack a punch you know i mean it's fine it's good it seems to not have a ton of ammo we've already gone through a, a decent little bit of it i can't imagine it'd be that great how's the like the bullet penetration on it not too bad it's not too bad at all so i mean yeah it's a decent gun all right we've got the shiva don't be fooled it's unpack a punch i just have the weaponized 115 skin on it I hate this gun. <laughs> it's like the M14, but just worse. I think it has around the same damage. I, I can't imagine it's any higher, but it has a very annoying fire rate cap on it. In fact, I feel like it definitely can't be higher because you can do the same, you know, however many shots the round is and then knife trick that you can do, you know, in Black Ops 2 or whatever game with the M14, which is why I actually prefer the M14 in those games because it's better for getting points early on. Gotta make sure. It's also not very good, but I mean, for 500 points, you don't expect it to be amazing, but I, I really just don't like this gun. Uh, and we'll see if it's any better once it's pack a punched. It is the Comulus Struggle. I don't, I don't know if I get that one. I, I might just be a little bit too stupid to get the joke behind it. I mean, 
I'll, I'll, to be fair, I think that the funny part about this is just wrecks like a dinosaur. You know, the 115 is zombies reference caliber. I mean, it's the caliber, I guess. You know, that's a gun word. Not spelled the same way. Maybe that's its own reference. But anyways, we're talking about the upgraded Shiva. Let's see how it does. Uh, does it one shot to the body? No, it two shot, three shot, four shot. Oh, hold up, my aim is so bad. I'm trying to like watch my points. So it's a five shot to the body on round eight. Not the best. I mean, if you're going for headshots, I'm sure it's fine. I don't know. I know in Black Ops 3, I don't know attachments I have, by the way, um, because I have, I don't pay for the gobble gums because I feel like it's a bit ridiculous if I just dropped a hundred dollars. So I use a mod that gives me infinite gobble gums. Uh, and because of that, like I couldn't check what my weapon mods were, if that made sense, because I had them set beforehand. It was a whole thing. Anyways, there's one that increases headshot damage, and I feel like that would make it a lot better, but I mean, yeah, it's going to shoot slow. It's going to be good damage to the head. I wish I knew the exact number for, like, the head multiplier, because different guns have different multipliers. Uh, so it might be decent later on. Let's see. Is it still a one-shot on round nine? It is. I mean, it's not the worst gun in the world. Definitely could be better. Let's see. How's that fire rate cap? Ooh, still pretty rough without double tap. And we won't be using double tap for this, by the way, because it's going to drastically increase some damage numbers. So the Panzer will be fun to deal with without double tap or a staff. But hey, we'll figure it out when we come to it. But yeah, I feel pretty confident in saying that the Shiva is just, you know, meh. All around, meh. Finer addendum as I'm using this thing, I do want to say it is nice having such a big, like, ammo reservoir on it. That's that's actually pretty good. It's maybe slightly better than meh. The old KRM, the favorite of many people, Black Ops 3 shotguns in general are insane. Because I'm grabbing this actually so I have a little shoddy in my back pocky uh, to do with the Panzer. Because I think it's good for Panzer and I, I don't want to start hitting the box yet. I'm going to go through all the wall weapons first. I mean, as you can see, we are we are destroying them. I guess I should get a free 400 points, shouldn't I? I mean, it's a one shot. It, it does good. We're on round 9, 10. I think, well, we won't talk about the upgraded yet. But just by default, I mean... Sure, you're going to have the slow reload. Uh, speed cola would be nice. Double tap, of course, is going to literally double your damage, double the pellet count. And I think, oh, I could be wrong, but I want to say Treyarch shotguns work. It, it's one way or the other. It's either <laughs> that each pellet deals, each pull, pellet deals a lot of damage uh, and you'll get basically like just a ton of extra damage or it works where just hitting one pellet gives a base amount and then each other pellet adds in like a small amount so I, I don't know but regardless i know this thing is a monster with double tap i mean it's it's not doing bad it looks like you do have to be pretty close to them maybe on round 10 it's a little bit worse maybe round 10's where it becomes you know not a one shot or anything but not bad at all all right the pack punch carry him oh scary uh the dagon's glare i want to save before I use it, I want to see. I know the Olympia gets um, special ammo that makes the zombies like explode. I think it's called Dragon Breath ammo, and I, I think I'm remembering that this has the same thing. It's either that or the Dagons always sounded like dragon to me, and I'm just stupid. But let's see, is it just going to go? Yes, it does. I'm pretty sure it's because of Dragon Breath. Um, I, I don't know if that's like the official term. I just know that the Olympia explodes. And that's the way I've always heard it. So, you know, that's the lie I'm propagating. I mean, this thing's, this thing's a beast. If you get that, uh, let's see, does it reload? It does. It reloads forward time so you don't have to reload that much obviously you'd want speed cola or double tap with it as your preferred perk so this is what you're rocking with uh but i mean it, it's a monster it's absolutely a monster we might check back in again whenever the panzer comes by i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens but i i mean it's, it's gonna one shot it's gonna destroy everything it's a good gun I did unfortunately take it down to the round 12 Panzer, but that's how she goes sometimes right now we've got the cuda which i believe is just the black ops 3 version of the mp5 it is, it feels weak, uh, I'll be honest. I feel like SMGs in general, I'm not a massive fan of in this game. I feel like they just never have as much damage, you know, coming off of Black Ops 2, which I feel like has some pretty good SMGs um, in Zombies, especially for one, the MP5 in that game in Black Ops 1, just, I feel like it shoots a lot faster. Uh, and this one, I mean, it shoots fast, but I don't know. It, it's supposed to be the all-rounder. And I feel like most of the time, except the ICR, the all-rounder isn't that great of a gun. Now, don't get me wrong, amazing for points. But it's like the Tommy gun in Black Ops 2, where, yeah, I'll use it for points, but it doesn't deal that much damage to zombies right now. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe maybe Pack-A-Punch can redeem itself. I'm not sure I've uh, ever gotten this thing pack a punch. So, yeah. The Crocuda. I, I know. I remember this weapon name because it reminds me of the uh, the SpongeBob meme where, where uh, Squidward is like a volcano and it's like Krakatoa. And I, I always think of that. Uh, the long distance damage definitely doesn't feel that great. 
on round 12, it's like, what am I looking for, I guess? I guess I'm looking for like a three to four shot. I, I guess I'm in my head, I'm comparing it to assault rifles. Maybe that isn't fair. I feel like I don't have enough experience with like pack a bunch of SMGs, but I feel like this damage is what I'd kind of expect from the base form. Maybe it's because it's, it's not double tap. Of course, your damage would literally be doubled if you were running double tap. Um, the ammo res reservoir looks pretty good on it. It's not something I've been paying a ton of attention to of my guns, but probably should. But I mean, it's okay. Nothing outstanding. It got us through the round. It'll, I imagine you could probably use it until round, you know, 15, 16 without double tap, probably into the 20s with double tap, but I, I just, I don't know. doesn't really do it for me, you know? All right, if there were an SMG I would use, it would probably be the VMP. The VMP is kind of the one that I think of as like something that's actually good. I wanna, look, I'm gonna be wrong. I'm gonna try to make comparisons between most of the guns. I wanna say it's supposed to be like the MP7, but I feel like its form is a bit too big, but like the iron sight really makes me think, you know, the, the MP7, not the MP5. Um, but I I don't know, even right now, it feels like it's not doing that much damage. And I normally kind of like this gun. I, I think it again, it's this issue of double tap. But, ooh, I'm probably dead. Am I going to have to whip out the shotgun? No, we're fine. Let's see this thing pack a bunch. We're right here, so we'll just go straight to it. I'm a little worried about getting shot from behind. Not shot, but tackled, hit. I don't know what you'd want to say. Let me go ahead and take you out of the equation. Oh, hold up. We got to get out of here. Uh, the, the old rocket. This is like the gun did pretty good there. But let's get out of this zone so we don't get absolutely just incinerated, I guess would be the word. And yeah, this immediately feels a lot better than the pack punch. The, the Krokotoa. The, I already forgot what it's called. The Krokuda. I don't, I don't have it anymore. I don't care for the death machine. Oh man. Oh, that is not a fully automatic gun. <laughs> Jeez, let me get somewhere where I can train a little bit safer. Maybe I can shoot them as they're coming in here. Um, I mean, yeah, this one actually, this feels a lot better. I imagine when double tap, you'd have a good time. It had definitely has a really high ammo reserve. I don't think the actual ammo in the magazine went any higher. I, I don't know if that's what you call it, but I I do like it. It's not bad, and I I'd say this one's probably at least better than the Cuda. The Vesper. I remember this one. Uh, oh no no no! Please don't embarrass me right as I bought it. Something tells me that the part in the video at the beginning where I said all in one game might end up not being all in one game because I'm not playing particularly smart because I don't just want to hold one zombie. I'd rather get the gun and then actually be able to use it immediately, you know, but this thing I I love this gun. <laughs> it's horrible on ammo, but it's so much fun. Just like the Scorpion Evo. I guess I can hold off on rebuying all my stuff. I finish talking about the gun. It's just like the Scorpion Evo and Black Ops 2 um, and then guns before that. You know, I'm going to Black Ops 2 is my favorite game. So I'm going to be comparing a lot of things to, you know, the the versions of that, I you have to forgive me. You're like, it's not anything like the the CUDA isn't like the Modern Warfare MP5. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect, um, but I do love this thing. It's just kind of fun. I'm excited to get it pack a bunch. Uh, I wish I, I wish I had double tap for one. Better damage might keep me alive a little bit easier, but two, it would just go really fast. Burr, which is always fun whenever you just have something that's kind of ridiculously strong. Let's really quickly try to upgrade this thing. Yeah, it seems like we've got a second or two. These guys aren't too fast. Clear out this one. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me right now. Give it to me. The thing about the dry and drop pack a punch is like sometimes the angle can be so weird on it. Also, I'm remembering now the VMP. It's called the Impeller. I don't think I said its name. I might have forgotten a few guns' names, but the VMP was the one I was like, oh, I didn't say this guy's name. This thing, the Infernus. We do have an insta kill, actually. So let's hold a second. It wore off and. It actually, it feels like the damage isn't that different. Maybe the only difference is the aim. I mean, I'm sure there's a damage increase, right? But like, it doesn't feel that different. I feel like I was mowing down things pretty good with the other one. The other one just ran out of ammo. Literally, I was almost out of ammo with that. I might've been fully out of ammo by the time I pack-a-punched it. Um, but this thing, I mean, it's fun. If you're looking for a fun run, use this. It, it's great. I really enjoy it. Yeah. He was the first among us to be, Never mind. Oh, among us. It is truly unfair to the Elkara to have it wait until round 16. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you on the map earlier, and I, I just saw their prettier guns, and I thought it wouldn't matter, but, well, here we are. Round 16, and let me tell you, this thing, not really putting on the work. Again, you gotta give it a little bit of leeway. It is round 16, but in general, I'm actually not that big of a fan of this gun. I run into this issue where, like, I love the Cap 40 in Black Ops 2, and yet this gun, which is, you know, oh so similar, it's just a machine pistol, it doesn't do it for me in the same way. I don't know what it is about the Cap 40 that makes it so much fun. The Elkar just doesn't have it. I feel like it's, again, this rate of fire issue where it felt like in Black Ops 2 they weren't scared to really just let things 
shoot quick and maybe it's that I'm remembering it with double tap and I know I'm going to keep repeating that but let's see we have the flux collider 935 let me get everyone together here in a group um I mean not horrible we do still really low ammo look at that like compared to I guess the Dagon Sclare isn't going to be a fair representation because it's a shotgun right but Compared to other guns, this is just not going to put in the works. Something tells me we're going to have a Panzer here soon. I'm going to get back down to the bottom. But I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Um, it seems like ammo will be an issue if you continuously use it. If you're using a pistols only challenge, you know, I guess your choices are the RK5, the death and taxes, and this. And I guess in that case, like, hey, go off because it's probably better than the pack a punch RK5. In fact, I'm, I'm going to say it's, it's in, to me, definitely better than the pack a punch RK5. You know what? Actually, I don't know. I take it back. I take it back. You know what? Hey, I'm a YouTuber. I don't need to make solid statements. I can just say, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. And they play the middle of the fence because that sounds like a good idea. No, I'm joking. But seriously, this thing, I mean, it'll shoot bullets. It'll deal damage. Oh, we're already at Hellhound area. I forgot that even happened, man. It's been a while since I've done, like, quote-unquote high round. I know, 17. Uh, but I don't typically go past, you know, 15 for videos. Sometimes I go to 20, but, uh, you know, I'll have a staff or something like that. But we move onwards. Alright, the KN-44. I love this gun. Me shooting this is about to reveal a lot about how harsh I have judged these other guns. Because if this doesn't put in the work, then maybe the other gun's not so bad. But if it does, then I mean, well, you know what that means. But let's see. Oh my, it, it does more damage than, than, than the upgraded Elkar did. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it feels it feels good. As long as you go for the headshot, that is. I mean, look, it's three round seventeen. It's not going to do the best damage in the world, but I mean, that's that's good. That's not bad. I like that. Please get out of my way, zombie. I very quickly have to run and do this before the zombies catch up to me. And again, the reason why I'm trying to leave them alive is because I want to actually shoot every gun, be able to actually show it off. So that's why I'm going about this the way I am, and I hope that makes sense. Oh, I, ha 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 ha! Zombies, the anointed avenger. The anointed one. Ooh, so, so mighty and high and proper. But let's see how it actually puts up in terms of damage. Um, I mean, not that different. I don't love the cell rate of fire. I would love it if it melted a little quicker. I'm actually being harsher on this. I feel like, I don't know, I want more maybe? I, I mean, look, it's doing fine. Maybe it's just like user issue, but it doesn't feel like that big of an upgrade, which obviously I'm sure it is because you have increased ammo, all that stuff. It's a it's a good gun. It's, it's I mean, my favorite assault rifle, I would say, in this game is the KN44. Um, I don't know how it is like damage-wise compared to the ICR, but I guess we'll see before too long. I can't even just repair my shield in this game, can't, actually, can I? I was thinking like Black Ops 4 repair shield system, but it's okay. But yeah, KM44, good gun. Oh, duh. all right, let's see how this goes. All right, come here, big boy. I don't have double tap. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm hoping that we can just, like, destroy him. Ah, uh, I need to get the other shotgun soon, I feel like. <laughs> that would be a dream. We have revealed his face, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to, like go about this. I really hate backing up into here. Alright, you know what? It didn't do too bad. Assuming he's actually dead, which he is. Alright, hey. You know? Not the not the worst for dealing with the old Panzer. Ooh, I need you. <laughs> it made A7. Hey, let's just go straight into it. Um, I hate this gun, by the way. I can tell you that without even needing to use it very long. Thank goodness. I remember that there was a barricade there. I saw it and I was like, there's something here. There's a way I can escape because I wasn't sure if I could get by. Oh, look at it. It's so bad. Maybe if, like I need to give it like the headshot. I don't know. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like the M8A1 um, in Zombies and Black Ops 2. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Again, a lot of the times it feels like the Black Ops 3 guns are just worse versions. And maybe it's because they wanted to... I guess my shield broke. I can go get another. I guess it's because they wanted to... Uh, kind of, You know, you get double pack a punch. That's going to be a lot better. And kind of balance out the playing field. Jeez, oh, you're a fast one, aren't you? Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, it's it, it'll do. It'll Actually, I don't know if it will do. That was just me generically saying something as I was mentally working towards needing to hit a pack a punch. It's a gun. That's what I'll say. <laughs> you made a seven becomes... I hope I've been saying the names. I don't know. Sometimes I just forget. Uh, the unspeakable. Yeah, it's unspeakable how bad it is. I was also thinking... Uh, let's see. For one damage... I mean... It's, it, it's fine. What we'll see is we can get him a bit more grouped up, give it a bit of a better chance. Oh, I hate the zero gravity. I didn't want to turn it on, but I realized I needed the shield, so I had to turn it on. Um, but I was thinking maybe around 20 I'll get double tap, because I was thinking, like, all right, let's say I get to around 26. Like, I'm just going to be firing guns in the zombies, and none are really going to be dying. Uh, so we'll get double tap around around 20. That way we can somewhat keep the comparisons level, right? Because if we say it doubles damage, of course, zombie health, I don't think, goes linear. I'm pretty sure it's exponential, so eventually it would still take longer 
stronger, but it will keep a somewhat more balanced playing field uh, between all of the weapons so far. I mean, also, this thing, by the way, decent ammo. I mean, pretty good ammo. We'll grab this max ammo, speaking of. It's not bad. I don't like the burst fire on it. It's very... The four bullets are, like, awkward, and then the delay between them also just feels really awkward. I'm I'm just not a massive fan of it. I'm sure Double Tap would make it feel better, but it's, it's an okay gun. You know what I'm thinking would have been a really good couple gum option? The one that makes them all slow. Uh, so I wouldn't have to deal with running around. Because at this point, like, I've not even been hitting the gobblegum machine, man. At the beginning, like, I use them to help me get points. But we've been able to, like, maintain ourselves pretty well. But if I do end up having, like, re I'm, I'm searching for the box. This looks like it's over there. Uh, if I do end up redoing this, I'm definitely going to grab the one that makes them slow down. Because it'd be nice being able to, like, kind of rapid fire what I'm doing here. But it definitely, definitely would make things a little bit easier. We're also into the box because I, I, on my list, I have other wall weapons. But I don't know where they are. Uh, and I figured that I would like to get a better shotgun and stuff anyway. So we'll, we'll grab the yeah, out of my face. Oh, there was one. I wanted to shoot it, but I didn't quite have the time. Uh, let's go ahead and try to hit this. We'll we'll loop around and we'll run back through and grab whatever it is. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Hey, you know what I was talking about with the. That's an Argus. That is not. That's the one shotgun I didn't want. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, we've got the Argus. Hey, look at you. What are you? You are the HVK. Ooh, I can buy you soon. All right. The Argus. The one shotgun I didn't want because I actually don't like this thing very much on Pack a Punch. I'm kind of iffy on it, Pack a Punch. Um, it makes me think of the KSG, right? Again, Call of Duty guns. Oh, they're all kind of the same between games. But it's it's a uh, slug round instead of a pellet, so it deals good damage. Looks like even on round 19, it's a one shot headshot, which is pretty good. I can't imagine it's a one shot body shot. Definitely not. Maybe with double tap, who knows? But I do actually feel like this thing's going to be pretty goaded with. With a double tap, and I think, and pack a bunch. I think that between this and the next, uh, or between, before I pack a bunch, I'm actually going to go buy double taps. So the pack a bunch version of this, we will see with double tap and every gun from there on. Uh, and I'll try to make it for the rest of the video. Well, unless we die and then we restart, and we'll be on like round four. Then we won't have double tap. But every time we go past, you know, around 18, 19, that is whenever we will uh, start using double tap. Sounds good to me. Hope it sounds good to you guys. Eh, let's just see it right quick. See how it does. Ooh, looks like it's a one shot to the body with double tap. Not bad. Feels pretty good. Get rid of the hound. Yeah, okay. You know what? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I don't want to sing your praise too much. Let's see. Let's see how you do once you're actually pack a punch. Once we've got some power in your punch. Yeah, sounds about right. Mow down these guys. Ooh, that also feels better with double tap. Everything feels better with double tap. What can I say? Um. Oh, ho, easy zombies. You come from the side as well. How could I forget? What I'm more curious about here, actually, is I want to see if it, how, like, I, I don't know if the word penetrate is what I'm looking for here, but how many zombies it can go through. Um, it looks like it just shoots the one and the damage doesn't carry over, which I don't love. Uh, no, that one killed two. Also, I don't know about if I was right about the Dragon Breath thing. Maybe it's just not in Black Ops 2. Maybe it's like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 only. Maybe just Black Ops 1. Who knows? But, I mean, this thing, I mean, it's not bad. I bet it probably does do buku damage against bosses, but I think I'm going to keep the KRM uh, just because of the pellet abuse. But, I mean, yeah, this thing, not bad at all. Not the best of points, but, hey, it's good. Look at this. I didn't forget the HVK actually grabbing it, not just running and hitting the box. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I thought it would kill a little bit quicker. I feel like this is also one of the guns I really love. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what to compare it to. Uh, maybe the Maverick from Cod Ghost, just because the Iron Sight makes me think of it. Uh, I'll grab the nuke just because it's three points. Uh, I mean, it feels fine. We just mowed down that hard pretty good. Uh, it's an assault rifle. Well, what's there to say? I'll try to pack a bunch of this really quick. Hopefully, the blue will slow them down, but not the stupid dog. Get out of my way, zombies. Oh, my lord. What is it called? The High Velocity Kicker. So, again, HVK. Uh, it feels okay. It doesn't do a lot to the body, it seems. It, it seems like, in general, the theme with the assault rifles is, you know, doesn't do the most to the body in the game. Seems like it's fairly headshot dependent. Uh, we have an okay amount of ammo. I mean, good amount of ammo, to be sure. Good bit in the magazine. 60, not bad. Looks like it's a... Can we count it? With double tap, looks like a two-shot headshot, probably. Yeah, I don't think it's a one, or else it would have got that first one. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not bad. It, I don't think many of the assault rifles in this game are bad. Um... A lot of the guns in general, I mean, there are bad ones, like the ones that are cheap, but from there, especially once you start thinking about double pack-a-punch, you're not going to run into that many issues. Now, the snipers, those might be a different story. I actually don't remember those all too well. I don't feel like I used Black Ops 3 snipers all too much, but the HVK, yeah, it's good. Next box hit. Let's see what we get. Oh, you got to get out of my way here, buddy. Ooh, the RPK. I believe this one was added in, in DLC. Uh, obviously, same as the RPK. Oh my gosh, it obliterates. Oh, it's so good. 
Oh, it's so good. Let's actually get to the pack punch. We'll pack punch the sucker and go into the next round with it. Do you see that though? Like the move speed, you don't run that slowly with it or anything. It just it just feels that good. Oh my gosh, it obliterated them. Maybe it's because it's pay to win DLC, right? You need the DLC and then you get it. The R115 Resonator, not the name of the RPK, I believe, in uh, Black Ops 1 and 2 zombies, although it could be. I mean, look at that. The damage it did there just obliterated them. Let's see if we can get these zombies spawning in a little bit quicker and we'll see how she keeps up. But I'm pretty happy with this thing. Actually, I'm hitting up top because I'm not super comfortable training down there. This is a spot where I feel like I'm probably more comfortable training let's see uh, the hellhounds all the way over there let's see let's see oh i mean is that a one shot headshot no shot to one shot headshot oh my gosh it is now they are living on like one or so hp that's why they're running without a head but i mean what a good so uh, undeniably the best Oh, 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 the best gun that we've gotten so far. What a if this it, look if you're looking for an LMG, I can't see much beating this. Maybe the Gorgon will, but I mean, wow, holy cow, it's good, man. Oh, speaking of the Gorgon earlier, looky there, look what we got. Gorgon, let me actually run back, re grab a shield. Mine broke while I was trying to get the gun out of the box and everything, and we'll see how she does. Oh, oh hound. Oh, was that a one-shot to the Hellhound on Pack-a-Punched? Oh, the LMGs are so good. I did grab Speed Cola, uh, just because I didn't want to get taken down while I was reloading or anything like that. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, hey, maybe not a one-shot to the zombies. <laughs> New shield about to be broken. Um... Actually, it doesn't feel that great on pack a punch Even with double tap, I mean, you're, you're talking about this... I don't know if the fire rate is exactly double, but look how slow it's still shooting. Now, I'm sure the headshot damage is a pretty big multiplier. In fact, let me... Oh, you know what? I know where the pack punch is over there. Let's see how this thing holds up pack a punch Or, first, wait, is it Panzer time? A little Panzer gaming without the KRM. Uh, I'm not hearing any sirens, so I think we're good. Uh, the Athena Spear. Oh, I almost actually went down there. It was horrifying. Uh, I'm not going to use it in this area. We're going to... Oh, I can't get out of here. I don't have enough points. Okay, well, it looks like it's doing decently well. Please let me out. Oh, my gosh. I did not have enough points. That was uh, stupid and horrifying. Let's never be that stupid again, shall we? Why was I running like that? Oh, what's that running anime? <laughs> Why does it look like that? It's like it speeds you... like. I don't know. You guys see how weird that is? I don't, I don't love it, but let's see how the damage on this thing is. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's an insane headshot damage. I actually, I know that this gun is good. I, this is like undeniably one of the best guns. I like the RPK. At the minimum, the RPK was more fun for me to use. Um, I feel like I could kill things quicker with it. I don't have as much flat damage, but I really like the higher fire rate. Easy does and I got to make sure I don't go down. You know, we are starting to get actually a little bit up there in rounds, but I mean, it's it's insanely good. I mean, just that's the that's the real story behind this gun. It is it is a very good gun. You should use this gun. Locust, the sniper. Right, well, I'm glad I actually left a few zombies here. Only a few. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> my bad aim is gonna showcase here. I don't have any different optic. I don't know if you can get iron sights on this thing in the uh, like the gun area. That I feel like that one should have hit. That was close. Come on. All right, you know what? Still a one-shot headshot. Let's see how the body damage is. No shot, it's one-shot body damage. He must have already been injured. Hold up, wait a minute. No way it's still one-shot to the body. This is not an area I want to be in, by the way. I'm panicking there. Uh, let me get out of here. I can take the jump, right? I mean, the jump's not going to do that much, I feel like. But hey, let's do it just for the just for the fun, Z. Just a little nice little hop and a leap. Don't be sirens. No, no sirens. I think we're fine. Let's see. Give me a zombie. I can just... Pop. Oh my gosh. You know what? That damage is actually pretty good. That's a little crazy. A little quick scope. Oh, what just happened there? Thank you, Black Ops player on PC. You're, uh, you will be remembered for your worst parts. <laughs> but, yeah, well, let's see how this sucker holds up Pack a Punch. Pack a Punch Locust is called the Lotus Locust. Oh dear, I don't know. Uh, come on, come on, give it to me. Arithmic Dirge. So, like, a dirge upon your people. It means, like, something negative, right? Let's see. You know what? I'm, I just want to get out of here. Why can't I buy it? I would love to buy it. Hey, game, please. Thank you. <laughs> You're so silly and quirky sometimes. Uh, I seem like it did good there. We have 25 bullets in the chamber. That feels like a lot of bullets. Um, not that many in the reservoir. So, you know, you might have ammo issues. We'll see how the penetration on it is. Uh, right up here, the bullet pen. It's called bullet pen, right? Bullet penetration. It just feels so wrong saying it. Let's see. 
Uh, ooh, I don't know if we're gonna be hitting any quad feeds with it or collaterals. Oh no, we'll definitely. We'll, hey, we'll get the feeds. Don't worry. Uh, oh, I was gonna do the bit where it's like, I think it's Joe Rogan and he has his dude and he's like person's name put it in the corner but i can't remember the person's name look it's not worth lingering on let's talk about the locust um or the arithmetic dirge it's good i mean if you're looking to use a sniper this this feels pretty all right it doesn't feel bad it definitely is putting in some work uh, i can clear hordes it's not going to be the best for points we're not going to use it too much longer but yeah it's it feels pretty good I hate everything. I tried to buy ammo for the CUDA because I've been using the CUDA to try to rack up some points. Oh, what a fool. What a foolish fool I was. I hope my way's up clear up there. We're going to buy all of our perks. But I've been using the CUDA just running around to try to get points. Um, and, well, clearly, it didn't work out. I mean, we got a lot of points, but now we're going to have to drop, what, 3,000, 25? I will come back for you, Speed Cola. I would prefer to at least have Joke. We have no more quick revives because I took the down to the Panzer and then I got trapped twice because I just play like a fool, a foolish fool. I'm a little out of practice. I'm not, again, not a high round, but I'm out of practice and I'm just playing like a big dummy dumb at the end of the day. That's what it comes down to. Skill diff. But let's grab this. Also, my shield broke. Oh, unlucky times. And I will see you guys <laughs> with our next gun. Oh, the ICR. Beautiful. I was just trying to grab a weapon out of the box, whatever it was. But luckily, it was one that we haven't used yet. The ICR, let's see. I mean, it's mowing through them. <laughs> Easy does it, zombies. It's mowing through them. It's doing pretty good damage. It's not got bad base ammo. Anything of the sort. I mean, this gun, it's just a goaded gun all around, right? Surely we can all agree that this is... I mean, I love the KM44. This is the best of sorrowful, as far as I'm aware, in Black Ops 3. I mean, you saw how it was melting them. Also, I ran around for like a minute trying to find either Mule Kick or Stamina Up, and I feel like I have these like ideas of where they are, but then I remember that like four different parts of the map looked like that to me, so it didn't end up happening, but maybe I'll fly by them as I come across. Let's see if we can get the sink pack a punch. I, again, I have no idea where the pack a punch is. I feel like it's up here, yeah, because we were in the bottom area before. Let's see if we can get the sink pack a punch. I do Perhaps know, I want to say it's called the Illuminated Denominator. Get rid of you. Uh, the Illuminated Deanimator. Oh, why did I say Denominator? I wasn't even a math major. That's my wife. Unlucky. It's just like a weird like joke of my because my, my wife literally was a math major, but but like imagine it was I was like I didn't I was a math major it was my wife. I don't know. It feels weird. Uh, let's see how this does. <laughs> uh, body shots didn't feel great. Oh my gosh! But the headshots decimate. What a good gun. See, that's why I went like mule kick so I could have like a good assault rifle to keep on me. But I mean, look, I wasn't, what else is there to say about the ICR? This thing, uh, beautiful, magnificent, magnifico. Maybe, I, I hope that was okay to say. <laughs> ah, man, oh, war, what am I doing? We're running into this issue, right? Uh, please be good, please be good. Eh, not great. Swap to the shotgun. Shotgun, you're not a shotgun, you're not a shotgun. All right, just breathe. Ah, the issue was that it was hard to not just leave a few zombies at the end of the round and hit the box, if you could have guessed. Well, look, hey, it's one game, right? One game of playing Black Ops 3, right? That, yeah, that makes sense to me. Ah, the Men of War, I actually got a first try. So, here's what I've done. I have basically played through to round 15. I can kill this Hellhound, I suppose. I played through to round 15. Uh, that way, all the weapons would be somewhat evenly matched. Uh, and I was just going to start going, basically, once I got to round 15. Round 15 was a dog round, so I waited around, hit the box, so I got a gun I could use. Um... Is where we are. I've been using the CUDA. I have mule kick because I, I did use a perkaholic, which is why I wanted to wait till a later round because so double tap didn't make everything feel overpowered. But I've just been using a CUDA, farming them over here. Uh, it's been going not too bad, but I'm glad we can pick up where we left off with the Man O War. Um, I, I really like this gun. It makes me think not so much of any gun from Black Ops 2, but of the ooh, easy does it. Widow's Wine it will be nice, uh, but of the Remington, I believe, from Cod Ghost. Just that slow, heavy hitter. Now, I could be wrong, but I think that that gun itself is kind of on the ACR line, but then I feel like, well, ICR and ACR just share a similar name, so maybe that's the thing. I, I didn't play much Modern Warfare, um, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, <laughs> Remake, 4, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I didn't play much of any of them, so I'm not super familiar with their guns. Again, Black Ops 2 is going to be, like, my main way to compare these. I do want to say right quick... Um, this is not like my normal type of video, and I am trying something somewhat new with the, the method of commentary, and if it feels a bit unnatural or uncomfortable at times, I'll just have to apologize. I am doing my best. I am only human at the end of the day. But let's see, where is my pack punch? Right here. Mana War, it becomes.
becomes the do 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 do. Let's see, Dread Armada. Armada, I believe, meaning an army. I do hate Widow's one. Like, it's nice to have, but it's so annoying. And Electric Cherry. Like I hate the effects on them. Look at this thing. I know it's only around 16 compared to 26, but like. It feels good. It has good ammo. I'm sure the headshot on it is insane. I bet you it's a headshot with double tap until like around 25. I bet some crazy like that. It just feels like a really good gun. And it's one of my favorites and you can't go wrong using it. The Pharaoh, what I believe is the worst SMG. It took about two bursts there to kill to the upper chest slash head. Let's see. Let me get out of this area. I want to be by Mr. Dragon. It's a pretty cramped area over there. Ooh, are we in pads around actually? Uh, I don't hear anything screaming at me, so we should be okay. I have been—I have actually been converted, by the way. Oh, I hear it. Uh, I've been converted to a, a KRM believer. I thought I heard the Panzer whenever I was jumping through. Maybe it was just a different sound. I don't know. Until he just comes in and starts wrecking my stuff. Let's see how the old Pharaoh does. Ah, uh, not great. Not great. I mean, compared to the Mano War, which we we just had, I mean, it, it definitely. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, give me, give me a second. Hold up. Oh, beautiful. You see how that just destroys? That's what a that's what a gun should feel like. Oh, magnificent. I love it. I love it. Um, but the Pharaoh, it is a, it's like a worse Chicom, right? The Chicom is fun to use, like on town and trains. I don't know other maps it's really on, but it's fun to use because it, it just goes, it shoots pew 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 pew, right? <laughs> like I don't know how to describe it, and that is like so so much fun about it. I may get rid of this wheels one grenade, but this it's like it's slow, it doesn't have damage, like it doesn't have that much ammo. It's I, I know it's a wall buy on some maps, probably a wall buy on this one. I just missed out and didn't see it. But it doesn't feel great to use. It's not very fun to use. It's just a pretty bad gun to be honest. Alright, pack a punch. Can the Pharaoh redeem itself? Let's see. Take down you, dear friend. The whispering regurgitator, bro. That's what I want to do whenever I use this thing. I want to regurgitate, which I'm pretty sure means vomit. If not, then that would be embarrassing for me to be that stupid. Because this time, uh, I, I was like a major who had to use words. I was both law and philosophy. So it would be embarrassing if I... But like regurgitate, sure, it means like spitting back out, right? And you're... Why is it called the whispering? Is it just because it's quiet? Because it's because it sucks? I mean, look, this thing, it's not putting in any work. I mean, it's, it's like, it's fine, right? But imagine when we're using the, like, look, here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking that on round 16, the upgraded mana war felt incredibly OP, and this thing feels like dookie, which makes me think it's probably, probably just dookie. Uh, so yeah, don't, don't use this thing. Don't put yourself through that. Ah, the XM53. I was waiting for this one. We've got an explosive, the RPG, except not the RPG, the XM53. Kind of, kind of sounds the same though, right? RPG XM53. I think it's just the E sound. I'll be honest, I don't think it goes much deeper than that. Uh, I mean, it blows up zombies. Hey, what commentary do you want, man? We'll get a horde together here in a bit, and we'll blow them up. But I mean, that's what it do. It blow up the zombies. What more could you want out of something? Got ourselves a nice little group here. Let's try to tighten it up as much as we can. Oh, okay, Widow's Wine got them all together. And look, it does damage. You can't deny that. You're going to get terrible points for it. But if you're just looking to clear the waves, hey, you can't go wrong with it. Good old x -Infy. Let's get one more shot on these guys. Watcha! Easy piece. I completely missed the guys I was going for. There we go. All right, let's go pack a bunch of this sucker and see how it does. But I think I think it's supposed to be really, really good if I remember correctly. All right, the Heliacal Incandescence. Let's see, let's see if I can get some people together. Mr. Rocket, I would appreciate if the one time I train down here, you don't start going off. That would make me very happy. I do hate how the rocket just explodes. I hate you. I hate you. Do you know that? Do you know how much I hate you? All right, it looked like it did good. I think it did good. I, I gotta get out of here, and we'll see how it does whenever I get another group of zombies together. You know, it's obviously not a gun that you even, like, really want to hold out while you train because of the self-damage you would inflict. Like, I, I don't feel comfortable holding it out right now. But once you're able to actually get a group together, I imagine we just like one shot this little group I've got here. I mean, oh, actually it didn't. I wonder what the actual explosive, like the radius on it is. But I mean, it's pretty good. It's, it's gonna deal damage. Like, right, I feel like you could use this thing. It doesn't have a lot of ammo. It does have a pretty low. But like, if you can get them much more closely grouped together, like I feel like this one shouldn't be alive right now, then it's a good gun. It's gonna explode. I think it has insane boss damage. I really wanna say that's true because I feel like people use it against the boss uh, on this map, the one down here where I'm heading. But it's it's gonna be a good explosive. If you wanna use explosives, I mean, hey, this is one of your only options, but luckily it's not too bad of an option. 
48 dredge. I make, I do, whenever I started the channel, I made so much fun of this gun because I think it's a really bad gun. Um, I was about to start talking about the pack punch form. Oh, the pack punch form. We have the, uh, the base form. So, it's a whole gimmick if you look at our ammo count 90, 84. It's a six round burst now because that does technically, in that six rounds, have an extraordinarily high DPS because the amount of time it takes. Give me one second. Did I just go spider on my foot? No. Okay, sorry. I thought it was crazy there. Um, in that one little bit, it, it does a lot of damage. So you can really burst things down. But the thing is, it, with all weapons in Black Ops 3, that time between the bursts doesn't feel great. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm able to fire it pretty quickly. Um, but the worst... I hate Widow's one. <laughs> the worst part about it is the fact that it's going to waste ammo. You know, you don't necessarily want to stop using your ammo in counts of six. Um, so, you know, I mean, I guess worst case it is like, what, you waste five bullets as long as you don't like over pull the trigger but it just i don't like being locked into that i would rather it just be fully automatic it'd be a pretty good gun but i guess then it would just be the brm right it's like what's the gimmick um but it just does lead to you well what's what i'm trying to say waste ammo it's obviously not dealing a ton of damage like it doesn't feel as good as the rpk feel i feel like i missed all of those i did i just hear like the panzer no you're also so slow using it even with and I guess this was an issue for the RPK as well. Yeah, I love the RPK. Uh, even with stamina, I, like the zombies are just able to get right up on me. We're not moving them down very quickly. It just doesn't. It doesn't hit the spot for me. All right, the tra <laughs> give me a second. The tra the tra tra oh boy trapezohedron trapezohedron. The trapezoid tro. That's what we're gonna call it. I I can stare at that word and sound it all day long. Tra trap Trapez, trapez, tra <laughs> trapezohedron, trip, trip, tra <laughs> trapez, tra trapezohedron. I, this can't be a road. Trape, trapezohedron, trapezohedron. Maybe the trapezoid shard. That's what we'll call it. Um, I feel like again, I don't love this gun, and yeah, my suspicions are ironing out to be pretty true here. I mean, look, you can definitely burst through. It seems to have the same thing with the assault rifles, where if you're going for body shots, it's not going to be too effective. Um, I mean, it, it mowed them down. Look, if, if, you, if you're between this and the Elkar, hey, use this. But if you're between this and you know, I mean, even the ICR, the KN44, I would probably use those. Yeah, the Haymaker, actually something good. I know it's just going to be flat out good. I mean, it's a fully automatic shotgun. I There's, what point is there to me just, I mean, look, we'll get a little group together and I'll fire it until I was just going to go pack a punch. But no, no, we've made it this far. Let's do a nice lunge. Although I'd love the Panzer just so I could see how it does against like a Panzer unpack a punched. Panzer on? Question mark, question mark, question mark. No, it doesn't seem so. It doesn't seem like we'll be so lucky. I mean, look, I, it, it just, oh, it, it's great. I love it. I missed every bullet. I do have emulation liquidation going just because, or fire cell, because I was trying to, once you, look, the odds start being not so in your favor to get a gun you haven't used before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but the base damage, it's really good. We have double tap. Obviously, it's not going to, like, literally mow down an entire horde um, while we're in the middle of everything, but it's still a pretty dang good gun. Like, you, it just, it's it's great. It's a, it's a it's an amazing gun, one of the best guns in the game. I'm just going to say it. It really is. It's so good. Let's get the sucker pack a bunch, because I'm actually so excited to use it. Can I use, like, a Widow's Wine Grenade? to like just stop the zombies from running at me here let me see it. you know i'll just let them smack me give me give me a little tap okay you know what? I, I was gonna try to and then they hit my shield and we got the shoe shining 100 i was about to say a thousand i don't get the name um i don't know what you, what it means by shoe shining but like look at this just oh my goodness it's beautiful isn't it this thing is an absolute panzer destroyer um i i think i'm actually going to keep this over the krm i definitely worry about my mule kick slots which is like so <laughs> frustrating to like have to think about like ooh this that or the other um actually no i should have to think about too much anyways that's beside the point this gun amazing goaded s plus tier for doing tiers i mean sssss i and i think we've avoided any uh just you know I, it, it's so so good you got to use it use it that's <laughs> so easy uh, we have undead men walking but oh my gosh i love it i love it i love it all right let's get back to hitting the box the old ray gun, looky there. Now I do believe the Black Ops 3. Well, let's see. I don't want to 
Yeah, I was gonna say the Black Ops Three version of the ray gun, I believe, is one of the worst versions. I mean, as a wonder weapon, I feel like it shouldn't take this much to kill something. Now the zombies are just gonna be walking at us here, so I think it makes the ray gun particularly strong. Actually, is its splash damage. That is why in Black Ops Two, um, like even though the DSR or whatever might have a higher damage per bullet, the splash damage you can literally damage every zombie at once, which makes it incredibly good. But it's nothing special on round 23. I mean, if we had everyone together. Don't get me wrong, it would still be an incredibly high DPS weapon, and it would work, I mean, just fine. But I just... It, like, compared to other guns, ray gun, great gun. Compared to other ray guns, eh, could could be better. Order's X2 ray gun, one of the few guns that the uh, Dresinger Ack Punch camo kind of looks terrible on. We just blew that guy's legs out from under him. Hold up, that was actually kind of cool. Um, Porter, of course, fun fact, not the creator of the Pack Punch, the creator of the uh, ray gun, though, of course. Uh, at least the ray gun pack, I don't know. All I know is I think that him and the Witch on Buried, because the Witch on Buried is the person who created the Pack a Punch. Uh, I think they work together. I don't know. All I know is like I just want to share my cool Buried lore, even though it's not a Buried video, because I think it's cool that she's the one who made the Pack a Punch. It doesn't matter. It, it's working, right? Like it's fine. Would you rather, if you're gonna use a Wonder Weapon, it's like use a staff, man. If you're doing pistols only, you know, it'd be a filthy little cheater. Use the ray gun, because technically the ray gun is a pistol. Um, but I mean, like. You know, it's it's fine. I'm much harder to have an end and walking. I have a decent little bit. Like it has splash damage. It's gonna kill them in like two shots. If you have a horde together, obviously this isn't the best showcase of it because they're all moving so slowly. But it it'll do. It's a wonder weapon, right? So it's gonna be good, but like I think of the Cold War ray gun and you know how much better it is. Uh, so it's just it's a little lackluster in that sense to be a wonder weapon. Ah, uh, the Brecky. Straight up probably an upgrade <laughs> to this, I would say. Um it is going to obviously we are on round 24 or whatever the undead men walking is actually better we're out so i think i'm gonna just time that out we'll keep talking about this in a minute whenever i can get an actual horde of zombies behind me sound good sounds good all right the brecky i want to say that like point for point it might have like higher damage than the haymaker i do like the fully autonomous of the haymaker and it it i think is right i know it's good but it doesn't feel like amazing right now on round 24 on pack a punch is that fair to it probably not but we can do a comparison between the upgraded versions but like i wouldn't use this on pack a punch but i'm sure that pack a punch is probably going to feel really really good so let's get that going is pack a punch still up here probably not no shot it to the bottom area all right to the bottom i go let's throw the sucker in I'm gonna have to shoot back through these zombies with the, yeah, the shoe shining. There we go. Oh, beautiful. All right, well, now we have a baseline for what we're looking for. Oh, I mean, yeah, it feels good. Let's see, I, I again, I do prefer the fully autoness of the Haymaker, but I mean, look at that. I feel like someone's messed up my sensitivity, by the way. It feels like I'm turning so much slower than I want to, but then I like tried increasing out my mouth and it, mouse and it felt worse. I mean, look at it, it's doing good. It's not doing bad. But like, all right, so it's, it's destroying zombies. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say I wanna compare it to the Haymaker, which we'll still do here in a second. I just think I'm not pulling the trigger fast enough. I don't know, that is the CUDA. That's what I get, that's what I use for my points. But I, I feel like I can just hold down on the shoe shining and like accomplish it a lot quicker and it feels a lot more fun. It's just more fun. You can't go wrong with either. I think the Brecky again might deal higher damage. The Stellar, the Stellar Screech upgraded, I mean, in the round, but what can you do? I mean, hey, it's, a, it's an amazing, the shotguns in this game, S plus tier. Even the Argus, probably, but I don't know as much about that one, I'll be honest. I feel like my game glitched out. It feels so much louder now. Do you hear that? Like, if I swap to, like, the Cuda, very quiet, the shoe shining, I mean, kinda loud, but, like, <laughs> I feel like my ears are getting destroyed here. It's insane. I wonder I wonder what happened. Maybe I've just, like, grown acutely aware of it. How, how odd. Ah, oh, the Weevil, right away. I love that I completely wasted my emulation liquidations. Uh, let's see, let's see. I mean, it's a PDW remake, right? Like, I don't think I'm wrong in that. Also, I'm horrified this thing pans around because I wasted, like, all of my ammo. And that wouldn't be very fun. But the Weevil, I believe it is a... Hold up, let me... <laughs> let me listen. I'm not gonna be able to focus if it's a pans around because I am in deep, deep trouble if it is. Please do not be pans around. Like, I'm genuinely asking, but it's been so long since we've had one. Okay, we seem good. Uh, the Weevil, I believe, and you know, maybe we actually had one not that long ago. I, my memory is all jacked up. I think we had one whenever I had unmet, Undead Man walking going, actually. Yeah, 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 so not long ago at all. Uh, but the Weevil, PDW, 50, big ol' 50 bullets in the magazine, which is, like, insane for an SMG. Like, that's, that's a mini, it's like a PPSH, right? Uh, or is that the gun I'm thinking of? The... 
the, there's a there's a line of guns that has a ton of ammo. It's not the PPSH. It's the P90, I think, that has like a ton of ammo. It's like a mini LMG. So basically, what this is, you're not going to be looking at insane damage. SMGs again in this game just don't really deal that much damage. But with the amount of ammo, it is really really good for making points. But let's go get this thing pack a punch, and I'm sure it won't be like that bad, right? Surely not. All right, it becomes the barrage because it's just a barrage of bullets going at your opponents is my guess at least. I don't have, you know, insider source. Hey, Blundell, actually, can you come over and answer this right quick? Yeah, no, come sit right down. Uh, you know, he's a sucker for medieval castles, but he's a little shy on the mic. But I figured I'd have him on for dry and drop because, well, you know, he's a sucker for medieval castles, but I'm surprised he didn't implement the fog rolling in. Who knows? Anyways, let's just stop with the stupid jokes, I suppose. And let's see how this thing actually performs. I want to get like a nice little... Okay, well, I guess that's going to be it. Let's see. Is I mean, it's killing them, right? Like, you've got a ton of ammo. It's actually killing them. I would say this is, so far, it feels like the, the best SMG, probably. I don't love it still. I wish that it was, um... Uh, like a, just a bit more powerful to where it was like somewhat in line with the assault rifles, but then I guess it, it'd just be an assault rifle, right? Like why why can't I have gun that shoots very fast, has a ton of ammo, and deals a ton of damage, and I can run quick with and reloads quickly? You know, I guess you, you can't have everything. And well, it has good ammo, it has pretty good damage. You're fast, it reloads fast. It's it's good. It's going to be a good mixture of damage and you know ability to get points because that is a big part of zombies, right? You know. Sure, at this point in the game, points don't matter all too much, but you don't want to just run around with a shotgun at round 5 because, well, you're not going to get any points compared to your friend who grabbed the Cuda or the Weevil. So every gun kind of has its place to be used, right? And I would say this one's place is, well, it's damage and points. It's kind of an all-rounder, and it's good at that. BRM! Hey, let's go! The standard LMG, I guess you would say. It's gonna shoot, it's gonna be decently fast, it's gonna have good aim, it's gonna have decent power, it's not special, it's gonna be good, I bet. Uh, let's see, we'll get some zombies around here. Also, this, this surely it's pans around by now, right? I'm actually gonna head down to there where I'm safe. No, hellhound around. Okay, look, here's the deal. You guys saw it. I mean, you guys saw it kill those two. It does all right, but I'm pretty sure that down here is where our pack punch is now. And let's just go ahead and get this thing out of the way. Okay, let's get air upgraded. We can win. Uh, okay, I guess the dogs actually does pretty good. Oh, I've wasted time. Unlucky. That would be my luck. All right, well, you know what? We'll kill the dogs. I'll just wait around here, see if the pack a punch shows up. And if not, well, we'll figure it out. But yeah. BRM all around LMG, it's gonna do pretty good. All right, the BRM becomes the Blight Oblivion. The rocket test just went, so we're actually safe here for once. It is a really good area to train, kind of like Ascension, um, if you don't have to deal with the rocket test. But once you do, who it gets a lot worse. All right, so the body damage isn't that great. You're not gonna move that fast whenever you're backing up with it, so that's kind of, you know, what we've seen so far with the LMGs. The damage, it's all right. You know, it is around 28, so I'm gonna give them a little bit of lenience for not being able to just instantly I thought I heard like a panther there, uh, for not just being able to instantly kill everything, but for, for it being around 20, I thought that last guy was dead. It's not bad. It doesn't have a super bad reload. Now we do have speed cola. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna die. Um, it's, it's not great. I'm just gonna say there are guns I would rather use. Like, let's not get jaded here. You know, the shoe signing is still gonna just completely destroy things. Uh, let me see if I can just find a zombie that spawns real quick. You know, like, it's still gonna do good. And I just feel like lately there are guns where I don't want to give that speed trade off right. I don't want to, um... I, I just, I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it at all. I don't feel safe running with it, and that's going to be a sign of me saying it's a big thumbs down for me. I mean, early game rounds, yeah, it's going to be great. It's LMG, right? It's going to be better than the L-Car. But in general, not one of my favorites. Dingo! This is probably the better version of the BRM. Let's see how it handles these guys. I mean, look, is it even a comparison? You know what I mean? Oh, of course it's rocket test fire. It's fine. I actually feel somewhat safe using this. Uh, like, I didn't want to be too hard on the BRM, but whenever we compare it, like, I feel like the unpack a punch dingo dealt more damage than the pack a punch BRM, you know? And it's just like, I don't know if it's the higher fire rate, but it felt like it just did really good. Hold on, let me get rid of our little nuisance here. And oh my lord, he's a little tankier than he was before, eh? You know what, maybe, maybe the shoe shining isn't the play, but it did fine. Hopefully we get a max ammo for the next one. That's the main reason I keep it. But let's grab the two, uh, the two X, the double points. I don't know why I said two X there. It was like my brain could only process what it visually saw because my, my brain was being used for trying to, I don't know. Let's mow some zombies down, man. I mean, look at it. You know, it's not going to kill them super fast, but the reload I believe is really quick. 
I mean, it's a decently quick. I'm not gonna say it's really quick whenever I have like the weevil or the shotguns in my head, because the shotguns with speed cola do reload pretty quick. But I mean, like, especially if you have double points on one of these higher rounds, look at that. I mean, it can really hold its own, which is something that a lot of guns at this stage can't do at all, is hold their own. So let's see if I get in this thing pack a punch. I, I, I wanna, I'm gonna guess, I'm pretty sure it's called the Dire Wolf pack a punched. I think I remember that one correctly. I feel like. I feel like I didn't actually used to use this gun a lot, but I knew it was overpowered, right? It wasn't one that was, like, in my particular ar arsenal, um, but I, like, mainly I feel like I would just use shotguns and water weapons, because I was usually more informed than most people in, like, the lobbies I was in. I'm gonna get out of this area, by the way, because I know that pad gets weird whenever you're on it for a while. Um, the, like, I was more informed than the average COD Zombies player, so I would always get, like, the free wonder weapon doing one thing or another, or I would be able to complete it quicker, um... I would use a shotgun with it most of the time because I didn't care about points because I, I didn't use perkaholics or anything either because I just didn't find it very fun. The reason I'm doing it for this challenge and look, it makes a difference. Like look how we haven't taken a single down. By this point we had so many downs. Um, and it's, it's just, it makes the game a bit too easy for me. I do, I almost jinxed myself. I don't know what my pathing was right there, but like the, the perkaholics make it a little bit too easy and everything just because like having every perk is such a massive advantage. Like how many times have we gotten saved by, uh, maybe even Electric Cherry, who knows, but I mean, the, the Dingo, again, another one of the S+, plus. this is one of your dream weapons, like, the, the Dingo and the Gorgon, I would say, are your big takeaways, because the Gorgon's gonna be insane for camping, and this thing, I mean, like, you're not that slow with it whenever you're training, I need to get another shield, noted, uh, and it's just, I mean, it, it's so, so nice to use, but, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. I could not be more upset than the box being over here. Thank goodness we have Undead Man walking, but this is... We only have two weapons left, so it's like, I'm gonna be over here for this entire duration just having to deal with this. Yeah, you're not the one I want. <laughs> Hey, it's one of the ones, the Draken, our second to last gun. Is it still a one-shot headshot? It seems like it is, and also that's about as much as you need to know about an unpack a punch. Let's go and throw this thing in the pack a punch. It's a sniper, it shoots quick, it has decent ammo. Um, unpack a punch. Now the sight is terrible, but you can put your own sight on it. I just don't have one on it right now. So you have to use this, you just use like a red dot, because um, I'll be honest, it does suck with this. But I mean, look how quickly you can shoot this thing. You know, it's not insanely quick, but also the reason they're going slow again, undead men walking. But it is, uh, it's not insanely fast, but the damage on it is insane. The reload, look at that. For a reload, not bad at all. We'll see if we can get a few more zombies with it. But I mean, what more could you want out of a gun, right? Shoots fast, there's a ton of damage, decent ammo in the reservoir. It's gonna, uh, I bet you it destroys panzers because that really high base damage. Well, let's see, come on. I mean, is it a one shot? It's a one shot to the body on round 30. Like, I'm sure a different sniper would be as well. But, I mean, you can't, how can you go wrong with it? It is, it's actually insanely good. The SVG, holy crap, we actually got the last gun. Okay, amazing. Um, let me see if I can get through here. So let's see, how do we fare? It's not a one shot to the body, it seems. I'm sure it's a one shot headshot. I mean, yeah, no, 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 we're not doing the rocket test thing. No, 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 get me out of here. We'll come back and pack a punch. I'm not, I'm not in that big of a hurry. But I'll talk about it for a second. It seems like it's just, you know, a slow, heavy hitting sniper. Um, seems like it does okay against the dogs, if I can actually aim. Oh my gosh, okay, you know what? I'm getting a little overran by the dogs here, so we'll use our other sniper, I suppose. And that undead man walking is running out very quickly. I gotta get somewhere where I can actually train and not be running around like a fool. A hooligan! But yeah, we'll go up here, and I'm gonna try to get this thing packed a bunch, and we'll see how she does once we get her done. Oh, dude, look at all the zombies fly. Oh my gosh, I took the, uh... That's <laughs> funny. Alright, let's go and get this thing pack a punch. Uh, hopefully we don't go down pack a punching the last weapon. That'd be a uh, nightmare. Uh... Alright, don't let it happen. The- oh, I've never packed a bunch of thing in my life because I have no memory of this. Okay, the Ikken Hisatsu. Um, let's see, let's see how it does. The issues before I would say was it fired really slowly. Ooh, it's still not a one shot. I'm so dead here, huh? Ooh, 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 there, here we go, utilizing the shield. Let's see. Uh, I don't think it's a one shot body shot, so it makes it feel just like straight up worse than the Draken, right? Like the Draken, still a one shot body shot, it feels like. Obviously at much higher rate of fire. Uh, a lot more ammo as well, and again, are, you, are we sure it's not a one-shot body shot? It doesn't look like it's a one-shot body shot. I'm trying to, trying to like, make sure I'm not, no, it sucks. It's bad. It's horrible. This was our last gun, and I hope this is our last gun. I've kept track of everything. Maybe there was one or two that slipped past me, but I feel pretty confident saying that our final gun 
honestly maybe the worst gun out of all of them. This this feels terrible. I'd rather use the L car right now, man. At least like it would feel satisfying, but like I genuinely was spamming the trigger there. That's as fast as I could shoot. That 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 sucks. That's horrible. But with that, we have we have pack a punch. Every single Black Ops 3 gun under ice and rock. In one game of Black Ops 3, it is the one game Black Ops 3, right? <laughs> right? Surely it counts. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let's pew, pew, pew. And yeah, have a good one, everybody, and take it easy.